All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually is going to pay off. You better believe it, man. It's going to pay off like you'll never believe. Okay? And by the way, we're the highest value male on this planet. The men of the Lord. The men of this truth. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Barshim Shai. The highest value male there is. Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. But Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Barshim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS. And rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful leg out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh by Shema Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom on to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shema Shah. All right, and what I want to get into, all right, today is dealing, you know, in the book of Acts, the second chapter, verse 17, you know, and it's going to go into. A um a picture, you know, that a brother's son, you know, what was pretty much a writing, you know, the brother's son had written some down in paper, you know, and inspired this lesson. All right, and I want to go into Acts two and seventeen, you know, and expound on it. Then we'll get the picture, you know, and then we'll <clears throat> go from there. Now this is the book of Acts chapter two verse seventeen. It shall come to pass in the last days, said the Most High. All right, and we're definitely in those last days. This is it. This is the end of the end. We're here. All right, it's a very heavy spirit in the earth of prophecy. Everything is lined up that needs to happen. Okay, now it's just about those things being executed. But everything is lined up. All right, and this is just, just a very heavy spirit in the earth that the Lord, all right, from the move, the Lord from the judge. Okay. So reading um, back in Acts 2 and 17, it shall come to pass in the last days, said the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Okay, and this is what we're seeing happening, man. You know, a lot of, you know, brothers see, you know, having visions, you know, a lot of brothers, women, you know, having visions, you know, um, a lot of random people you know on, on the internet you know having you know dreams you know about the end times okay and that's the times that we're in the lord has poured out his spirit and the prophets you know he has given his prophets the spirit you know of prophecy to break these things down you know as we hear about them okay so what i want to do i want to go to this picture you know what is, is writing so like i keep saying picture all right, so this is what the brother, you know, because the brother, you know, he said his son asked him, you know, how to spell the name Yahweh, okay, and Yahweh Shai, okay, and he left, <laughs> you know, he came back, all right, with this writing, <laughs> you see, and you read it, what does it say? It says Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is coming, <laughs> you see, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is coming, missiles are coming. Chariots, angels picking us up and see this is the gospel in the nutshell <laughs> okay like he just summed up you know the ministry all right in the nutshell okay yahweh yahweh shai is coming which you know it's going to be yahweh shai all right that's going to come you know in, in, in the glory of his father all right let's get that okay <laughs> let's get there real quick luke 9 all right, one of my favorite scriptures is Luke 9 and um, 26. It said, For whosoever shall be ashamed of me and my words, all right, and you have, you know, men, you, you so called believers that are ashamed <laughs> of you, how about your mouth shot? You know, you bring out certain points in the scriptures, you know, they they, 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 they try to, you know, they, they, they get emotional, okay. You know, you, you say particular things too, and they can't take rebuke because ultimately they're ashamed of you. How shy now, people in the world they just don't give a damn, all right? Well, you got Drake with fringes on with platform. That's you know, when you really get into your how shy, and because he comes in the volume of the book, but when you get into particular things in the book, you know, Jake is ashamed, <laughs> okay? 
Jake is still, you know, putting women on pedestals and, you know, trying to tiptoe, you know, around certain topics, you know, to, to, to not offend the women. But, you know, you worried about not offending the woman, but you're ashamed that you have a shot. Okay? <laughs> That's a whole nother topic. It says, of him shall the son of man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory. Okay? And in his father's and of the holy angels. So Yahweh Shai is coming in his own glory and the glory of his fathers and the holy angels, which are his chariots. Okay, so as you know, the brother's son said, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is coming. The missiles are coming. All right, and the, and the chariots, the angels are coming to pick us up. Okay, he summed it up. All right, he said, he said the missiles are coming. So let's get a let's get a precept on missiles, man. Okay. Let's get there in Second Ezra sixteen. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen. Okay. This is Second Ezra sixteen and seven. It says, "May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer." All right, and the arrow is speaking of an ICBM, nuclear missile, okay? And also the Most High is the archer. You know, he's the one that has those silos loaded. Remember, the scripture referred to missiles as the weapons of the Lord's in the nation. All right, and these nations are nothing but vessels being used, okay, to, to, to um, carry out the will and the judgment of Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. It said, the mighty Lord sent the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? Yeah. Who's going to, who, 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 who can drive away? Because the ultimate plague is these missiles. Okay, they're a plague of fire. And who can drive these things away? Who can put, all right, the, 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 what the Lord intends to happen? Who can put those things on hope? Okay, no one is going to happen. He shall cast lightness, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder? And that's what those chariots are coming to cast those lightness, man. That fire that's coming out that chariot, man. Okay? Hey, that, that's going to be a precision strike. That, that, like that, it's going to be certain people, you know, reserved for the fire of the chariots. The fire the nukes and possibly both, man. Like it's it's a scary thing to fall into the hands of a living power, man. Okay. <laughs> but this all sums up, you know, um, but it uh it's all summed up, you know, in the brother's son's writing. Okay. The, the, the Lord coming back, missiles coming and the chariots <laughs> they coming to pick us up. It said the Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder his presence. The earth quaketh and the foundation thereof. The sea arises up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishing thereof before the Lord and before the glory of his power. Yeah, so this is the coming of Yahushai. He's speaking on the, com the coming of Yahushai in the 12th verse. Okay, when it speaks about how, you know, the, the seas are right, going to be going crazy, the earth is going to quake, you know, at the presence of the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. You know, what the uh, was in Haggai, okay, Habakkuk, you know, he says, was thou mad at the sea? <laughs> you know, because Habakkuk seen the vision of the return of Yahweh Shai. All right. He said, for strong is the right hand that beneath the bow, those silos, his arrows, all right, which are the missiles, that he shall shoot it, or sharp, which means they're extremely deadly, okay, and shall not miss. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Okay? To the ends of the world. And this here in America, man, in the West. Okay? <laughs> so those those those, air, those missiles are mentioned. Okay? <laughs> and, and Jake summed it up. Alright, now let's go from there. You know, because he spoke about what? The cherry is coming to get us, man. All right, we in some heavy times, man. <laughs> we in some, we, we're here. You know, we, we're here. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 31, verse 5. It says, as birds flying, 
So will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Yeah, he's going to defend us in the midst of this war. Okay. He's going to defend us from the destruction. Defending also he will deliver it. And passing over it, he will preserve it. Okay. So the Lord is going to what? Preserve the elect. All right. And we're going to be picked up in those chariots, man. Okay. So let's go from there. Let's get these two because we, hey, we here. All right. What, what does it say in the book of Romans? All right. This is Romans, the 13th chapter. Verse um, 11. It says, and, and, and then it says, and then knowing the time that now is the high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. It's the time to wake out of sleep now. <laughs> you know, because now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Okay, we here. <laughs> you know, we are in those times, man. All right. And Lord will we endure. And I believe that it's closer than we think. Like, you can feel it's close, but it's just something like it's closer than we think. You know, just me speculating, you know, as a man, you know. But let's go here, <laughs> okay? That time, that time is upon us, man. All right, this is Luke 21 and um 28. It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, and this is how I shy. Matter of fact, let me read up some. Read at 27. This is Luke 21 and 27. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. So he's speaking up, he's speaking about the build up until the second coming. Okay? It's until he returns, you know, in their power and great glory. Okay? It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, the wars, the pestilence, the, you know, the, the rumors of wars, the wars, the pestilence, the you know, the false messiahs and all these things. When these things, you know, start to happen. Okay. It said, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw of near. Okay. Draw of not. Okay. And I, and I redemption draw of not. <laughs> you know, we here, man. You know, so Lord will, you brothers, all right, and you sisters edify to next time I say shalom.